My first guest tonight is a beautiful actress. She's in that new film, What? That's What She Said. <laughs> That's a film. What? That's What She Said. Got it. Is the name of the film. What? That's What She Said. Okay. <laughs> it's in theaters October the 19th. Please welcome Anne Heche, everybody. Anne Heche. You look, you look sensational. I'm, I, what I, she said. No, wait, hey! Hey, come on! I, um, I, I really wanted to touch you, but Thank I can't you. because, well, you know, in a sort of welcome, but I well, can't. Well, we're I've, both married, so it's all right. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I wouldn't, I, I wasn't go, I, I would. It, <sighs> you ever take the cold medication? That's you. Oh yeah. Have you got a cold? No, I don't, but I do know you do. I do, and you know why? Because I've got kids. You've got kids, or right? Or because you want to take the drugs. Nah. Theaters. I actually do, fake it. I don't. I don't know that I do. No, it just do. doesn't feel good, does it? No. And when no. you have kids, it's such a bummer. Yeah, and you know, and they, what they do is they bring them home on purpose. It's totally their fault. I'm sure, like, the, it's the two-year-old. He goes to the the preschool. Uh, the preschool. Thank you. And he goes there, and and I think what they do is they get, get they go, hey, anybody got in? I want to take something home. They're like, yeah, ha ha ha. Hey, I got it. Shoot. Yeah, you stick your finger in this. Yeah. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now watch out. <laughs> that was wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> it was. It was pretty good, actually. Be careful, because you're going to start to separate yourself from the rest of the show. You start doing good material, it'll make the rest. Well, people will know what's going on. Hey, I was laughing. <laughs> I was laughing quite a lot backstage. Really? Yeah, I really was. Oh, great. I know. Who was it that was talking? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, 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 it's all right. So, how are you doing? What's the movie about, then? Um, that's what she said is really a kind of a, a raunchy ride with three girls in New York City having a really bad day. And I kind of fell in love with the script because when I opened it up, my character opens uh, in bed, uh, totally hungover, falls off the bed, grabs a cigarette, goes into the bathroom and brushes her teeth while she's smoking it. So I was like, I'm in. It's funny already. <laughs> if I can make that work, this is going to be a funny movie. Yeah, no, it's a, no, is it, is it a kid's movie? Oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I screened it at preschools, right. of course. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what age are your germs kids? doing what, that. What age are your kids? Pardon? What age are your kids? Three and ten. Oh, see, that's a lovely age it's, for diseases well, coming one? into the house. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> well, you get you get the you get the whole gamut there. You get the you get your you, well, almost a tween, really, haven't you? The ten-year-old. Well, please say it isn't so. Oh, no, I'm telling very, you, I've, very, I've got an eleven-year-old. Oh, hey, I'm telling They've you. They've got quite the personality, don't they? Like, I'm just, I, I used to be awesome, now I'm just a Tootsie Fruits. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Like, that's I just get said. that sense, you know, I'm just like, like, oh, oh. like, yeah, that's great, Dad. Well done. Yeah, we showed up at tennis practice yesterday, and we were there, like, I just thought that would be really nice to do. I'm going to go, and, and he looked over, Homer, the 10-year-old, looked over, yeah. and was like, hey. Like, excuse me, I'm yeah, taking yeah. time. Uh, hello, I'm here to, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, that's it. Thanks, awesome. Glad we're here. Yeah, no, it's uh, it, it's kind of like they, I just don't feel appreciated anymore. I'm really sorry. Craig. Also, I'm very high. Uh, <laughs> that's supposed to make you feel really good, though. Well, no, I think I used Is up. Is he all not my... being appreciated? Look at who's sitting in your audience. <laughs> I like that. That's that's, that's nice. I couldn't catch you. That's nice. That's do you, you, you hug uh, me. Do you surf? Only this way. All right. Do you surf? Never this way. You never do that? No, I haven't. No, you should I don't know, try something it. about smashing my head on the board. I don't know. I mean, I'm still lucky enough to be able to be on camera, so I, I try to stay away from the things that might erase that possibility for me. Oh. Since it is what puts food on the table. Do you know I met you once years ago in New York City? I don't know if you remember this. Uh, with Brian Gibson, God rest him, the film director. Yes, of and course. And I was, I was hanging out with him. Uh, we were, I think we were talking about making a movie, and then he came to the senses. But the... Uh, <laughs> But you had just done a movie with him, uh, The Juror. We did The Juror. Yeah, together. yeah, yes. with Demi Moore. Yeah. So, right, the movie, in the movie, there's three girls who smoke and drink and uh, uh, have promiscuous Which, sex. Which, funnily enough, yes. I threw that I know, bit. I know you said it, but it's really true. Well, that's why I, I added that bit, because I thought, I bet they do that, too. Yeah, sure. I mean, that's how she got to be so hungover. What? You get hangover from sex? From too much of it. Do you really? Maybe. 
I've never had that much. Really? No. I mean, I've had, I, you know, Should hangovers from substances, but, you know, I've never had so much sex. I'm like, oh, I wish I hadn't had so much sex last night. <laughs> Man, I just shagged myself into a headache. You know, I... You might feel that after the cold medication. No. No, I don't think so. No, no, no. I mean, can that happen? Is they, really? I don't know. You're going to have to watch the movie. All right. <laughs> Well, uh, it sounds uh, it sounds like it might be a little rough for the kids, though. Do you let well, your kids see these things? Absolutely not. I do okay. yoga bagaba for that, which I do do, by the way. I did do a yoga bagaba this did you really? just so Addy could see me. I always say I'm going to work. He's like, where? You, know, you can't see anything. There's no, you know, yeah, I, never I did, any evidence around that I know. I've been I did working. Sesame Street. Same reason. See, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like here? Yeah, yeah. It I did. Great, I, right? Yeah, I was on Sesame Street. I, I was uh, me and Elmo. He's awesome, by the way. I bet. You like things that don't have. Hearts. No, Elmo does. No, no, no. I just, I, I like, I like Jeff and Elmo, and that's it. Oh, oh yeah, and my kids, and my wife. Oh, and you? Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, no, I like to do that. I, you know, one I wanted to do was Teletubbies. You ever see the Teletubbies? Um, I could watch that right now if I was watching that. Well, uh, <laughs> fascinate you right oh, about now, man. wouldn't it? Because that's, that's British people getting an early start and making their kids weird. <laughs> you know, Homer was really fascinated by that. It's yeah. not out right, right now, you know. Yo, but the Yo is, No, it's not, it's not around anymore. Yo has kind of replaced it, I think. Well, I think you, I think you can get, we get, you can get it online and then the DVDs, because I'm like, Tinky Winky Fart Down. <laughs> that's a really good invitation. Tinky Winky Fart Down. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Tinky Winky for a dog. And Brian didn't want to do a movie with you? No, he didn't oh, want to do a movie with me. I mean, I wanted to, that's what we were talking about, doing the Teletubbies movie. <laughs> he was well, fun, Brian. I liked him. He was, uh, he, was a nice, he was English, you know. That's how they make their kids weird. They start them off nice funny. and early. Yes, yes. No, British television, the, the children's television is bizarre. Like, really bizarre. You should see it. I will now. All right, like, yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm already in my head online at home. Do you, do you, are you very careful about what you let your kids watch? Are you, are you a very strict mother? Um, I don't like a lot of channels, I won't say specifically, that show a lot of commercials. So, CBS? Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, for the kids. I know what you mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, I know the one. Yeah, what, so what? we try to, you know, try to keep them on the DVDs or Netflix or something. Yeah, so yeah. But, but a lot of TV, no, I mean, I kind of have sports kids, and they like to be outside and, and really? around Really? That's, you're lucky, or, sporty you know. kids. That's great. There's always yeah. something for you. Just give them a ball and say, get up. No, Addie is pretty <laughs> insane about it. It's true. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I usually go with them. I don't usually kick them out onto the street to do it. But I, well, you know, yes. I, I usually of course, follow if in you're... their path and, like, play bl badly with them. Are you a like, sporty person? I'm a kind of half-coordinated person, but they would never attest to that. Uh, you know, Mom, what are you, you doing? You... I like playing tennis now, but when you play baseball with a kid who can whack the ball, like, a, you know, a good couple of blocks, I'm not good enough to catch it, you know. No, I, I, my son stopped playing baseball. Milo did? Yeah, yeah, he's the older one. He's like, yeah, because he, he was in the outfield too much and it was too hot. He's like, Dad, you don't know what it's like out there. It's hot, there could be bees. <laughs> or Teletubbies. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. out there. Yeah, like, you can't argue with that. There could be bees. I mean, he, the kid's not alive. For sure. There could be anthills. There, there could, could be a lot of There could be anthills out there. I mean, it's so like... So he quit. Yeah. And then what happened? Well, I, I said, the only way you, I'll, you can quit as long as you get to black belt and karate. And is he doing it? Yeah. Yeah. For real? Yeah, he, he's not come up against any bees yet, though. That's the problem. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, no, he's, I know. You've got to do something. The kids have got to be active, I think. No, it's a good idea yeah, if yeah. they are, yeah. Otherwise, they go absolutely bonkers. Yeah, and or just I don't like, need my kids going crazy. No, no, no. They, you have one of those in the house. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Hey, we're out of time. Uh, you want All some right. fruit? Uh, are you absolutely, have you touched it? Uh, no. No, I'm just saying. No. No, I got, some, uh, I got some, hang on a second, I need to get my hang. It's a lovely offering. I love a good jicama. I mean, yeah, yeah. really, when a well, good jicama comes your touch... way, you just don't want to say no. You know what I'm saying? You can just bite right on in. Does anybody know what a jicama is? Do you know what a jicama yeah, is? Yeah, it's when your boyfriend sucks on your throat and reads a <laughs> Oh, you fell down the stairs? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, you want us to throw the commercial break? What's the name of the movie again? That's what she said. And hey, so everybody, we'll be right back. <laughs> and hey, so everybody, and hey.
sweetheart. You look lovely. What a lovely dress. Well, thank you so much. You've got a vague kind of Audrey Hepburn thing going on. Is that what we're talking about? Flattered. Thank you so much for saying so. It's lovely. I'm not half as classy, but thank you so much. Your your foot uh, is all right. I I've healed. I've healed. I've healed. Did I scare you? Yeah, a little bit. It looked very convincing. I hate when giant things fall on my feet. Especially when they're the Ten Commandments. You never know who's telling you what. Well, that is is that what the show is about? A woman who talks to God with her feet. Um, I haven't done that yet, but well, I might in our next episode. What happens in the show? You, is it? It is a woman who talks to God. She's having a, you know, an experience where she uh, has a second chance to kind of make things right again in her life. As you can see, her relationship with her teenage daughter isn't going very well, and they, they have a lot to mend. And my character is really trying to be a good person, so she's trying to follow the Ten Commandments, and it's not going very well for her. They fall on her foot. She's trying not to curse, which is why she says, swear jar, swear jar. She's really trying to make herself a better person, and she's stumbling along the way. Question. Answer. Does swearing make you a bad person? Well, I certainly not. I mean, I, oh, no. I mean, then I would be off. I would be a terrible nah, person. I'm, I'm worried for terrible, myself, terrible is what I'm terrible. saying. I'm, no, I'm letting you off the hook. Right, yeah. yeah. Um, no, I would hope not. I just think we want to try to set a good example. Uh, ah, yes, you know, I suppose, uh, Sometimes I try to keep up mm, in, in the house. You know, I have a 4 and 11-year-old. Do you cuss in front of your kids? All the time. Yeah. No, sure. <laughs> As if. My kids don't let me cuss in front of them. No, Homer would love it if I had a swear jar. He would charge a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah my so oldest boy made a lot of money. The reason I don't curse is not because I want to be a good person. It's at home, it's really because I don't want to pay him. Yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah. I think it's absolutely fair. Yeah, I, a I, thousand bucks a curse is like not worth a it. A thousand you know? bucks? Or whatever he would charge me. No, no. I, he's a greedy I, kid. I, I had a, we had a $1.50 word in my house that I just won't say anymore. Wait. What? Well, we had a sliding scale. It went from one dollar fifty for my favorite, which yeah. is, you know involves a some lot. family member oh. words, and you know my mother's involved in the word and some other, you know what I mean? Multi-syllable. It's a big long and word. and generational. And that cost me a dollar fifty. I can't say it anymore. Oh wow, yeah, that's yeah. a. How much do you get paid? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. About about <laughs> about that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's a whole paycheck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whenever yeah. I open it, I go. Oh! can't afford to give my reaction well, to this paycheck. Well, that's why I say swear jar, swear jar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So the, what the, the story of the show is that the woman, your character, talk, what gets a second chance to why? Well, she's, she, well she's, things are not going well for Beth. We call her Bad Beth. And when we meet her, she's a little bit drunk. And she has a terrible relationship with her husband. And he's cheating on her. And her daughter obviously can't stand her. So um, she falls down the steps, drunk, one night, uh, grabs a hoagie sandwich out of the refrigerator, chokes on it, and, we, and, and dies. And just when you think... This is a comedy? Yes. And just when you think that her husband's going to find her on the floor, she comes to the door and says, I've been saved. God saved me. And he says, please tell me you said Todd, not God. I have never been to church. This is not a religious show. This is a show about a woman having a, you know, a chance to make things right. And how does God manifest his or herself in this show? Is there... In many, many ways. There is so a magical... not, not Morgan Freeman, not the usual way. I do. <laughs> the usual way. I do say that sometimes it sounds like Morgan Freeman, but actually when I do meet God, it is not Morgan Freeman and I do meet God. You, you, you guys are showing God on TV? Yeah. Good luck with that. It was a really, yeah. really, really... You are gonna, you're gonna love it. Yeah. Everyone's gonna love who God is. Yeah. Okay. And God is... It's everyone. not Bob Saget then. It's not Bob... You didn't use Bob Saget. It's, it's, n- it's not Bob. Or his twin. And it was... Uh, no. Or his... Or I didn't know he had one. Uh, no. <laughs> Neither, neither one of them are, no, are no. going to show up on my... I don't think either one has shown up as God on my show. Okay. No. I, it is a comedy, so I don't want to get too uh, deep about it, but I, I did start uh, uh, to really wonder in my life what God was uh, at a very young age and mm. disagreed with a lot of what I heard people say it was. Yes, so, I occasionally lapse into that. Yeah, well. yeah. <laughs> so I started to look at what I thought God might be, and then I realized, well, when I look at someone and I trust someone or I enjoy having a kind conversation with someone that's more than what I'm doing sitting here all by what, myself so I, I, I tell like you what that. I thought once I I I was I used to be very committed atheist well not committed I just kind of thought oh it's all rubbish and then once in London I saw a dog use a, a crossing you know like a like you wait until you see yeah. the the light change and yes. then you cross yes. and I saw a dog wait and then use it and yeah. I went might be something in that after all <laughs> yeah <laughs> Might be a little bit of magic. Yeah, yeah. So that's that because nobody. We all that start believing from that. somewhere. We all start somewhere believing in something. Right. And yours started with that dog on the street. So congratulations. Well, I I, I don't know if that's quite <laughs> true, but. Uh, <laughs>
I hear you. Anyway, uh, well done. Do you want a quiet moment to think about God? Oh, no, you had a quiet moment with the guest before me. I, I don't know if that went over that well. Should we have a prayer? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I thought this was a talk show. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's not a talk show. It's the remnants of what talk shows used to be. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know. Um, J Jeff, what would God sound like if you were God? Put a dollar fifty in the swear jar, baby. <laughs> On the show. That sounds a lot like what God sounded like in my head last week. Would you like to pull my finger? <laughs> <laughs> and hey, everybody, we'll be right back. I'd just like to uh, apologize to anyone who thought I was mocking Joan's injury in any way. It's not the kind of thing that we, uh, we want to do here. It's clearly, you know, not the kind of thing that you'd laugh at. Do you know what I was amazed at, though? That you ca I can't really see out one of my eyes. It's not catching for it's, me. No, it's not. It's not. How do you, how do you, your eyes feel okay? Yeah, I'm great, man. I feel many, good. many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> Two. Yeah, all right. <laughs> good night, everybody. <laughs>